Malaria kills an estimated one million people every year, most of them children under the age of five and pregnant women. 90% of the deaths occur in Africa alone. 26-year-old Hadija knows how fatal malaria can be. She lost her 11-month-old baby to the disease, which is transmitted by mosquitoes. This is my third pregnancy. I gave birth to my first child, but she contracted malaria when she was 11 months old and died. The World Bank's booster program for malaria control in Africa seeks to aid countries suffering from malaria by helping them to scale up their prevention and treatment strategies and strengthen their national health systems. Under the first phase of the program, clinics in Tanzania were able to intensify campaigns in malaria prevention. Hadija, who's six months pregnant, now comes for regular checkups. And she's learned the most successful way to avoid being bitten by malaria-infected mosquitoes, a mosquito net. December marks the launching of the World Bank Booster Program second phase. We want to stress the partnership effort which is needed because no one partner can do it alone. Phase two of the program emphasizes World Bank commitment to further combating malaria through partnerships with African governments and international donors. It stresses the need to focus on the African countries where malaria is most prevalent like Nigeria and the Democratic Republic of Congo. We want to uh, stress to the continent the important role of both Nigeria and DRC uh, to the continental success of defeating malaria because as you know th those two countries account for 50 percent of the burden of malaria in Africa. The new phase will also build on the successes and lessons learned from the first phase of the booster program which began in 2005 and committed more than 465 million U.S. dollars to African countries in three years. If you take a country like uh, Ethiopia, uh, more than 90 percent of households now own more than two bed nets as opposed to uh, five percent less than three years ago. Under phase one, massive bed net distribution campaigns have taken place in different African countries and millions of dollars have been spent for the purchase and distribution of key malaria control commodities.